<clears throat> okay, we're live. Okay, I've got a pencil page here. We're going to ink it. This seems this felt like something to, good to do tonight. I heard a very wise man quote from this amendment of the US Constitution. And I thought, I want to ink that. First Amendment of the US Constitution. Congress shall make, let's make that thick, clear words readable, clear words with a thick marker. No law, dot, dot, dot. I'm leaving out some words here. No law of Congress shall make no law abridging. This is the slow reading, folks. Yeah, Jeremy knows this part. <sighs> right. Hey, Jeremy. Abridging the right of the people. running out of space here. Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people. Thanks, Jeremy. Peaceably, key word. Powerful word. You see where this is going? We'll make that super bold. I penciled this out to make sure all the words fit, but I'm still going to go, go a little wild off the pencil lines here. I like to live life dangerously, peaceably. Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble. Yeah, Mary's here too. I have this sort of back burner project over on my site on uh, livefreeanddraw.com of converting the entire state constitution into comics format. And it's gonna take a long time at this rate. It's a very slow project. But this is good practice for it. Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble. And the law has to be made by Congress. If it's not made by Congress, it's not a law. And to petition This I have to check. I'm going back to my source. I'm using constitution.congress.gov, folks. And to petition the government. For a second there, I thought it was their government. And to petition the government. Seems like a, a subtle but vital difference. But in the end, it's the government for a redress. I was going to do redress all in caps. Oh, well, too late. Of 
grievances. Justice. So there it is, that's the source text, right? Hey Monique, how's it going? Oh, this is so great. I love seeing, I miss you all. <laughs> I love seeing people get together somehow nowadays. So this, I had the source text, I looked it up. Um, I wanted to get that quote. There's more in there, right? I got it right here on uh, constitution.congress.gov, First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Let me put the dots there then. No law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Or abridging, so we'll need dots there, the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. All right, we got it. So then the next part, because I wrote that down and, and I thought, you know, that's just, it's just words on a piece of paper, unless it's surrounded by community. So I called up our, um, where's my page here? I called up our Comics Camp Clubhouse crew and they all came out of the clubhouse. <laughs> starting comics camp next week. They all came out of the clubhouse and held up the banner and now we're gonna ink them. So here we go. I'm gonna go around, I think I'll do that. I'll do the border of the um, banner last. Hey, Nick's out there. Hope you're well, Nick. I don't know where to start. I'll start where I am. I tucked myself into this crowd. There's a big crowd of friends around here, around this banner, holding it up. We all gotta hold it up. Know it, learn it. And I'm putting masks on everybody in this crowd here, just to be safe. Where I am, I feel like I've been far away from a lot of stuff going on, but I've been watching it, keeping an eye on it. Trying to keep my crowd here informed and active. Try to hold up the, the banner. We'll put a couple hands on here, pause. There's all sorts of creatures in this crowd, folks. We're gonna see a lot of Comics Camp friends here. So there I am. I'll wrap a couple friends in here. Here you are, maybe this is you. Or maybe this is you. Maybe that's your hoof right there. Holding up the banner. Let's see. Oh, you're wearing a couple bandanas here just for safety, huh? Oh my goodness, that's a long neck. This is a very slow spectator sport if you're here to watch a cartoonist ink an 11 by 17 piece of paper. Hey Althea, so please comment. It's nice to get your take on this stuff. You've all probably been thinking of these words today, this week, I hope. If not, Hey, it's nice to see you tonight. Let's think about these words, huh? I don't know if those look like giraffe spots. Not really. I got to practice my giraffes. That's okay. It's early in the summer. Comics camp starts next week. We're gonna have all, all summer to draw giraffes and all sorts of other things. I think this one's sort of a dragon with a face mask. 
Oh yeah, that's how we know it's a dragon. It's got spikes along its back there. I'm thinking this will um, this will take a little while, folks. So it's nice if you want to hang out. Please comment, say hi. Let me know you're out there. Um, or if you need to check back a little later, we'll have more of these characters up here a little later. There's a lot of characters in this crowd holding this panel up. Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble. That is, if we respect the laws, we respect that right to assemble peaceably, peaceably. I don't know who this is here. Let's see. I'm putting face masks on everybody tonight. It's interesting to draw all these characters without the mouths, without the ability to show the full expression of the face. You have to rely on body language and gestures. Let's see. This one, she has her hands, her arms crossed. All right, this one, oh, I missed her ears coming up here. These are huge fingers of another character. I'll put some dark ogre fingernails on there. Some of these characters are monsters some of these characters are creatures it's a big crazy crowd here tonight i'm going to put some scales on this dragon because then we'll see the scales there and we'll see the scales back here and we'll know that that's all part of the same critter i like doing scales there's something really soothing about doing scales just drawing lots and lots of scales along the dragon like this. I guess it's a repeated, repeated action. All right. Well, I don't know what this creature is. Maybe, maybe they have antlers. Yeah, there you go. Nice antlers. Some kind of reindeer up there in the corner. All right, moving down here, we have a bunch of smaller characters down in here. We're going to circle around this whole banner because it's just words on paper unless it's surrounded by people all willing to hold it up and read it and understand it. Unless we pay attention to it, it's just words on paper. Doesn't do anything for us, just as words on paper. There's some different size mice and rats in here. They're all wearing face masks for safety. They're probably breaking social distancing rules, but it's extreme times. They're, they're holding up the banner. Let's see. Oh, I like this little one. This is like a, a either a, a really young bunny or a long-eared kitten of some sort. And she has stars on her mask. There's, um, I kind of resisted the urge to get creative with all the masks on these critters. Because there's a lot of blank masks here. They could have messages or patterns. But I figured if we do this out as a poster and then have it as a coloring page, you can color it yourself and do any kind of message on there. On those masks, I mean. So I'll leave them blank. They're a little more versatile that way. Hearts and stars. There's actually the tail of a giant snake right peeking out from under the banner right here. 
So we're going to put that in there and we're going to leave that be for over here. The rest of the snake is over here. It's a little hard to see probably because I just penciled it out before I came on here. But that's kind of, that's one of the things we'll talk about at Comics Camp next week, how you pencil a picture to make sure all the pieces fit together. Make sure that leg is there and that arm is there and my head's right there. And then you can go in with ink and finalize it. I'm going to tuck another character right in here. Maybe that's their foot right there. All right. That's the corner. What was this? Oh, yeah, there's another mouse here with goggles and a face mask. They're kind of fun to draw with face masks. All right. Oh, there's a little bug here. I've been drawing these little bean bugs. Kind of nice because they have six arms, so they can do all sorts of gestures. Well, four arms and two legs, I guess. So you get sort of an extra gesture with each little bug. Let's see, I think I can draw the edge of our banner now. Congress shall make no law. This is a really good way, I think, to memorize the Constitution, is uh, <laughs> draw, if you uh, really want to memorize it the cartoony way is draw a poster of each phrase that really speaks to you, that means something to you, and then draw a picture around it, illustrating or bringing that phrase to life in some way, right? In this case, I was thinking of this particular verse or phrase, amendment, this particular amendment, the First Amendment, I was thinking about it all day, and I realized all right, I'm just going to sit down this evening and draw it out, see what it needs. And as I drew it, I realized it needs people holding it up. <laughs> snakes. I don't know how snakes tie their face masks on, but this one has one. Maybe they have friends who tie them on for them. They still stick their little snake tongues under there. Okay, what we're going to do with the snake is do little scale lines along its belly. Those little, those little belly texture lines. That will help us see the shape of all these coils. Put that all along the bottom side of each coil. All right, I'm going to come back in just like the other day when we did the uh, all the, the big crowd with the justice banner. I'm going to come back in and do shadowing underneath here once I've drawn everything. I think that'll lift it up off the ground and make it pop a little more. But for now, let's leave it. We've got a couple characters peeking out from under here. Little fluffball characters. I don't know what they are. And this little one. Do you hear that? There's a, uh, a mama cardinal right outside my window here. And she's nesting and sitting on her eggs all week. And at certain times of the day, she comes out and flies around. Okay, there's the little ones peeking out from under. Oh, there's this strange, mystic, meditating groundhog over here with the serious, serious face mask. It's 
those breathy things on either side. This one came prepared. Let's see. You shall not be moved. Let's see. These groundhogs, we, I saw some groundhogs around here and they were, they're stocky beasts. They are some serious beasts. So this one is plump down here. Going nowhere, not going anywhere. All right, um, moving right along, we've got a young bunny here with ribbon on her ear. She's a brave one. She studied her constitution, I guess. I like this finger. See that? People, peaceably. Got it? I like when you draw these characters and they kind of gesture on their own, you know? It's not, I didn't make them do that. They kind of do it themselves. Those feet are maybe a little big, but that's okay. Next time I draw, I'll make them a little tiny bit smaller. Oh, I was gonna draw the cat's tail coming over the feet. Oh, well, I missed that. I missed that little trick. Here's a cat's tail going behind the feet. And here's the cat. No faces in this whole crowd. Oh, I wanna draw their faces, but that's all right. They can wait. I'll draw their faces someday. And the little kitten's tucked in here. It's all about just patiently going through all the details. Patiently making sure everything's taken care of. Patiently making sure you get everything where it needs to be. You get your source text just right. Take care of all the little kittens in here. Make sure they're safe and sound. There she goes. These two were kind of meditative down here. I like how they came out. All right, so the banner runs up this way, but there's a ton of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw the top and then come down this side because I don't wanna smudge my ink with my humid late spring arm here. So let's see, drawing our banner with the thick lines. Come along here and we'll fill all these friends in here. Oh, there's some of my favorite ones up here. I put all the big ones up in the back because they're tall. They're holding up the banner, all the little ones in the front. Let's see. I have no idea what some of these creatures are. They're like level 12, level 25 monsters. I don't know. The upper level monsters get kind of... Uh, Fancy compared to the, the little fur balls. Why don't we put a little fur ball in here somewhere? Let's see. Maybe right here. Well, I have an eyeball on a stock here. I'll put it in here. I love drawing eyeballs on stocks when they just reach out from behind everything and stare at you. Unblinking. All right, horns. I've got a little space here, so I will put a little furball level one monster 
right up here. Tucked into the fur up there. And it's like big critters, little critters, all working together to hold up the banner here. All sorts of different critters all together. We've got that elephant from our marching picture from the other day. I think the um, face mask fell off the trunk, unfortunately, but just keep your distance from that trunk. Let's see. Some kind of bird here. The face mask on the beak. And then there's this character who's really, really wide. Those two eyes go together there. And here's the face mask. And then what ties them together, you have this cool hair here. And that's gonna balance. I think when we put in the shadows underneath the banner down here, this dark hair up here will maybe balance that out a little. And this character came dressed in some kind of helmet. I think it, oh yeah, it is a little mini Viking helmet. I don't know why. You throw open the gates to all of these characters to come out of the Comics Camp Clubhouse and you never know who's going to show up at these events. Let's see. They're doing a good job of holding up that banner. Let's put in some little wrinkles there as they pull on it, hold it up. Oh, and this one with the sort of shaggy ears. This one looks kind of worried. Sad to see something happening. It's still holding up the banner. Now we're getting there. That's filling in nicely. We've got a good crowd here. This is good. A couple more hands and fingers up here. Try to give everybody a slightly different texture. And get these curving down horns. Maybe just one big eye on this one, huh? We don't have, I don't think I have any Cyclopses here. Gotta have a Cyclops in the crowd. Nice to see a Cyclops peeking up over the banner. Okay. What color are those? Those turn from horns to ears, just like that. All right, we're rounding the corner here. This is like a little flying something or other. Oh, you know what I was gonna draw in here? There's a couple hearts with wings, like the dream symbol hope symbol. Maybe they can be flying all through this crowd. Where could I put one? How about here? Oh, you know what would be cool is uh, one of those little hearts, but with bat wings, like a cute heart and then stretch skin bat wings. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, coming around the corner, there's actually the corner of the banners out here, but there are characters kind of leaning in front of it here. So I'm going to start, we'll go from the top down. There's two mice sitting here. They're sitting on one of the other characters, but we'll first we'll draw the mice, then we'll draw that character. 
sitting. This one's lounging. Face mask on. Saying, read it. Check it out. Oh, that's long tail there. All right. So this character has an enormous beak covered in part with a face mask. And we're going to tie that face mask back to here. And then we're going to show, this is a little tricky. I hope this comes out. We'll try it. If it doesn't come out, that's all right. I'm going to show that and the teeth. Birds with teeth are creepy. I think it's like a prehistoric kind of bird here. There's all kinds in this crowd. Looks like the kind of prehistoric bird you'd want on your side at a, at a demonstration or a banner waving. Here's the Cyclops's hand. And then there's this weird character back here that you can just see one eye and like this bumpy brain head thing. I don't know what's going on back there. But they look pretty victorious or optimistic. They're given that victory sign. That's kind of cool. Like I said, these characters kind of do their own thing sometimes and they surprise you. Sometimes they're kind of mysterious and confusing. All right, maybe one more mouse here in, in the mouse party up on this beak. And this mouse is looking at those words. Yeah, reading them, looking back and reading them, studying up. Oh, there's a little mouse down here, look at that. This mouse is hanging by one little paw and pointing to, what's it showing us? hanging off the bottom of that beak cover and it's pointing to the word people. Okay, that's cool. Glad a mouse can show me that. Okay, coming down through the crowd here. This is cool. Nice to see people. Hi, John. Welcome to the party. I know John, John Kowaleski loves to see slow motion inking, so I'm going to slow it down for you, John. No. No, I wouldn't do that to you. All right. There's another little bean bug here, waving its arms around. This is the life, folks, inking the amendments of the US Constitution on a Friday night. Thank you for coming, coming out. <laughs> Thank you for staying in and tuning in for a little bit. If you uh, have been here all along or if you have come back, I appreciate your fortitude. This is, I love this kind of stuff. I love taking a source text and playing with it, putting it out there, seeing what your cartoon characters do with it. I mean, this is the living constitution, I, I would say. It's, or the writhing constitution, the seething constitution maybe. I like this weird groundhog bear in a top hat here. They they really brought it to an, another fashion level to come to this little rally. Okay, we'll put a weird face in here. I don't know who that is. Let's see, everybody's holding up the banner, reading it, pointing out their favorite parts, checking it out. We've got a couple more characters and then we'll be done. When I'm done with this, I'll, uh, I'll scan it in and I'll post it to my Patreon as a downloadable, printable coloring page, whatever. Patrons on the Patreon get permission to uh, to share around, reprint, all that stuff. 
it's all just um i do all my stuff as creative commons anyways but uh it's nice to be able to use this sort of public domain text and play around with it and see what the characters do with it congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances first amendment of the u.s constitution I feel like I should know the year of that, but I'm going to look that up once I'm done here. Oh, there's another kitten up on the Mama Kitty's head. I thought she had a third kitten in there somewhere. And there's some hands sticking out here. I don't know whose hands these are. We did a little um, live draw this afternoon for Comics Camp warm up and did a whole bunch of blob characters and I feel like I feel like those characters are still coming out here. We've got a couple details before we're done. We've got flowers sticking out of that top hat. Maybe there's like a, a big hulking hairy presence back here. We'll give it some texture. I don't know whose hairy flank that is over there, but it's a big crowd here. I'm just kind of filling in the texture of the crowd around here. I've got a couple more tricks to do. I've got a little space here. I kind of want to just fit like a, a face mask wearing robot in there. Or maybe it's somebody in a, a metal mask. I don't know. A robotic bunny. Oh, John wants, John wants the inking to go more slowly. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We'll drag this out a little more. We'll put a couple more hopeful hearts here. Maybe a couple stars sort of floating around the crowd. Hope everybody's doing all right tonight. I hope everybody's healthy and safe and able to express themselves safely. A lot of hopes tonight. Okay, those little stars and dots and details kind of round out the picture smooth out the contours, the outside edges of the picture. Oh, the mouse's feet. I almost forgot the mouse's feet. Nobody was going to tell me to hit the mouse's feet there. Okay, let's see. We were going to go back and in the bottom put in a shadow to kind of ground all this and make all this feel like it's building up off the, off the ground and there's shadows under this huge crowd. So let's do that and then we might be done. Oh, we need some stars over here. But, you know, I don't want to belabor this. We'll just let it be done when it's done. I hear the kids outside the window. The canoe must be back, the canoe riders. This will be a this will be a fun coloring page. You can color all the masks different colors or the same color. You could put little designs on them, personalize them. You could blank this out and write your own favorite verse of the Constitution in it, I suppose. All right, where were we? The shadow. We'll add the shadow in under these characters carefully. I don't want to accidentally black over key details. So I'm going to be very gentle going into these little corners. And a character like that with black feet, if I black right around those, they're gonna disappear. So I'll leave a little space around those feet, a little sort of distance glow that lets them be seen still. And then that snake, I'll go right up to the snake. Cause she's got her own, she's an outlined cartoony body there. so. 
the black can go right up against it. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. That's going to ground it. It's like an underscore, an underline under the whole picture. Before I black in here, I'm just going to add a couple more little monsters in here. It's less for me to black. It's more characters holding up the banner. More participants here. Oh, we've got a little snuggle pile of monsters down at the bottom here. That's pretty cool. Maybe one eye peeking out from here, right? All right, let's do the rest of this shadow. I love crawling through these details and getting to know every single character. You have to pay attention to every single character. Just like if you're reading this text, you have to pay attention to every word. What does this tell you? Congress makes the laws. What does this tell you? It has to be peaceable. What is peaceable? That's the part we debate, right? That's the part we can, we have to figure out. I don't know, this looks like a, a, this, I feel like this is a peaceable, hopeful, positive, constructive crowd here tonight holding up this banner. I put myself in it because I felt that way. A little black around a character kind of brings them out a little more. So maybe I'll go in too and darken around some of these characters just to give a little shadow around them, right? Help bring them out and make some shadows. Mm. A little more under little Sprout here with her slightly large feet tonight. That's okay. Sometimes your feet look a little big when you're standing in front of the U.S. Constitution, I suppose. That'll be my excuse. Mama Kitty has a heavy shadow. Any shadows in here? Shadows in here. Dun, 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 dun. I think there's a little shadow behind these characters that helps them stand out a little more. Maybe over here. Yep, there's a shadow already right there. All right, that might be it. Let's see. I have a little, I, I left a tiny little margin around the edge because when I scan this in, I don't want to lose stuff. I want it to be a full picture when I scan it in. Let's see. I'm going back to my source here. I'm, I'm also looking at constitution.congress.gov here. First Amendment of the Constitution. And they call it Constitution of the United States. So I'm going to write a little title down here. Let me make sure it fits. So I'll go back to pencil just to make sure it fits. First Amendment, Constitution of the United States is, that's totally going to run out of space by the time I get over here. So the other thing my source text calls it is U.S. Constitution. At the top of the website, they call it the U.S. Constitution. So I'll say First Amendment, U.S. Constitution, just enough room for that title. And I'll put my own website, uh, www.merrickbennett.com. I'm going to post this. I'll scan it and I'll post it to my Patreon. There will be a printable there for patrons. You can print it out at 11 by 17 or at half the size of a regular size sheet of paper. You can use it as a coloring page or whatever. Uh, patrons have um, reuse and sharing permission for all my Creative Commons stuff. I think I also want to credit my source, which is constitution.congress.gov. That sounds kind of official. So I'll say constitution 
www.congress.gov, and that should fit perfectly right there. All right, doing the title here, and then we'll be done, folks. Thanks for sticking with it. I know this is a, what with the baseball season postponed and everything, if you're looking for something a little slower than baseball, you could watch cartoonists ink pencil drawings. Why not? And something a little slower than that, maybe watch cartoonists ink pencil drawings based on the U.S. Constitution. Nice, slow, contemplative Friday night fair for you. I know you're probably on the edge of your seats because if I make a slight mistake now, I'll have to start all over again, right? Switching back to uh, the thin pen, folks. To sign my Creative Commons copyright claim here for the art. You know, if you're an artist, you gotta take credit for your work and let people know how to get in touch with you, merrickbennett.com. And then the source for the text, constitution, handy site to have in your memory, .congress.gov, official site of the US Constitution, I guess. All right, there we go. Of course, my pie process, my patented pie process is to pencil the artwork, which you saw when we first started, this was all pencil, then to ink it, which we've been watching for the past six hours, and then to erase it. So I'm gonna spare you as usual, I'll spare you the erasing. I'm gonna go back over this and erase all those pencil lines. And when I'm done, I will scan it in and post it to the Patreon. And um, I'll post a link down here. Yeah, Althea is a, a patron there. Um, yes, good idea, John. A secret map on the back. That's the question, right? Um, what do you use the back of the poster for? Could it be the complete text of the Constitution, just for reference? I'm going to think about that. Maybe this would actually make an excellent center two-page spread in a little mini comic or something. So this may come back in uh, Comics Camp starting next week. Um, if you want to see more and see how it's going, or if you want to see some of my other comics that, uh, that I've drawn from the New Hampshire State Constitution and other um, uh, tearjerker, um, potboiler texts like that, uh, you can head on over to my site. I'll post the links in the description. And uh, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Thank you for helping me populate this banner and um, thanks for all your comments and everybody please be safe and be healthy out there and keep in touch keep in touch good night